Okay, what we're going to talk about today is how to unjam a Mills gooseneck mechanism. Um, what we've got here is a Mills two-column bender. This machine was made in the mid-20s and is very representative of all the uh, gooseneck machines that Mills made from um, all the early 20s into the very early 30s. The, uh, the gooseneck mechanism is actually a fairly simple uh, mechanism and uh, the escalator is where most of the jams will occur just like they do in the later model machines. The escalator on the gooseneck is actually much simpler than the later model escalators and so it's it's easier to, uh, to unjam. The, uh, the most important thing to, to realize is that when the machine is jammed, in other words when you put a nickel in and it doesn't play, is not to force it. Do not, if the machine is jammed, don't pull hard on the handle trying to unjam it. If you do that, you'll probably end up breaking something inside and then you've got a real problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, talk about how to, uh, to pull the mechanism out of the uh, cabinet and then look at various aspects of the mechanism where common jams are. So. The first thing we need to do is, uh, is pull the mechanism out of the cabinet and uh, the first thing you need to do is on gooseneck machines for mills there are usually two screws in the escalator in the, uh, in the gooseneck. One here and one here. So the first thing to do is remove those screws. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, relocate the camera so you can get a better shot. Okay so here's a, a uh, close-up of the gooseneck and uh, so we've got the two screws here which we're going to remove. Let the first one out. Many times um, when there is a, a coin jammed in the, uh, in the gooseneck, when you remove those two screws, it will release some tension. And if there was a coin that was jammed up, many times that's all it takes to, uh, to free the jam is to uh, release that tension. So after you remove those screws, you may want to pull the handle and see if that fixes the jam. If it does, you're good to go. You can put the screws back in and, and you're done. So the next thing we need to do is remove the back door. Which is simple. Assuming you've got the key. Once the back door is off, then we need to remove the back lip, which is this guy here. And these back lips will have a thumb screw or a wing nut actually that holds them into place so you just reach in and so here's the wing nut so I just reached in there and loosened that up and then I pulled off the back lip okay so, so now, now to, uh, to remove the mechanism there will be two levers. One on the right, right here, and one over on the left. You want to lift those levers up and there'll be a little catch to hold them into place. And then what's common on gooseneck mechanisms is sometimes there's a bolt that goes through the base plate or the bottom of the mech and connects to the base plate. If there's a, a bolt right here you need to um, you know, take a wrench and take that off. Uh, for this particular machine, there is no bolt there, so uh, there's nothing else we need to do. And to remove the mech, just take your hand, put it underneath the operating fork like this, put your thumb on the bracket that's just below the reel bundle, take your other hand and grab onto the gooseneck, and then just gently lift and pull straight back. Now sometimes it'll be kind of stuck down here in the, on the, uh, the base plate. 
So what you can do is you take a screwdriver and just put it over here and just use it as a lever to pop it out. So that's all there is to it. So then you can just pull the mat straight out and you can put it on your workbench. So now we've got the mechanism out of the cabinet. And unlike the, uh, the later model Mills machines, those that were made in the uh, mid-30s, the escalator, which is the gooseneck, is permanently attached to the mechanism. In the later machines, the escalator actually is bolted inside the cabinet. So, if the machine is jammed up, good chance the, the problem is right in this area here. So what you want to do is just take your hand with this lever here and move this up and down and see if you can see where there might be a nickel that's binding. And then you can just take a small screwdriver and then just work the nickel free. Now this particular machine is not jammed. Uh, the reason it's not operating is because there's not a nickel in the mechanism. Let's go ahead and put a nickel in and we can, I can kind of guide you through what happens. Put the nickel in the gooseneck. It's gonna, it, the nickel should fall all the way down to this position right here. When you cycle the mechanism, this lever here is going to pull down and move the nickel to the next location down. Now they make a special tool for cycling the mechanism, but odds are you don't have that tool, so I'm just going to do it with a screwdriver. To cycle the mechanism is very easy. Just take a good sized screwdriver, put one side of it on top of this roller pin, and then the other side of the screwdriver goes to the bottom of these levers here. You'll see two cotter keys. You can then just push down on the screwdriver and the mechanism will cycle. Another thing you want to look at as long as you've got the mechanism out is try to see if there's any loose coins anywhere that are um, causing a bind. So you look down in this area, down in here by the clock, make sure that there's not any loose coins that have fallen down there which are causing a bind. If there are, then obviously you get those coins out, you know, with your finger or needle nose pliers or you know whatever it takes to get them out. Now if you want to cycle the mechanism and have the we, the reels free spinning so you can line up any kind of combination you want to, that's very easy to do. Just take a small screwdriver and you stick it right here where this, this fan is. It's actually a governor. You can also use your finger in there to hold it if you want. But now we can cycle the mechanism again. The wheels are now free spinning, relatively, and then you can line up uh, your own winning com combination or whatever you want to do. There's two cherries, and then release the clock. And that's all there is to it. So, um, that's basically.